Hello, welcome back to another edition of my 18th scale, 124th scale micro truggy rally. Actually, that's the rally, micro truggy, not truggy rally. Anyways, this right here is the chassis that I showed you guys last time. Um, that's the servo mount, so it faces this way on the car. Today I went ahead and I've taken the chassis off, as you can see, so this can freely spin. Right, it looks pretty funny. But it's all together, which is cool. And we're going to actually not attach this one, but I made a metal version of it. Obviously, it's not very nice, it's just a prototype, so I just kind of threw it together. Hopefully, I'll be able to clean this up and make it look better. But basically, this will sit right here on the car. And if I flip this over, it should look a little something like that. So, that's um, all I've been working on so far lately. And uh, yeah, that's the car right there. So basically, we're going to take this 8th scale motor, and it's going to sit in here like so. Hold on. Like this. And we will have... the ESC, the battery, and... a servo because that's basically all we need to put into the car minus a receiver so uh, right now I don't know what I'm gonna do to fit all of this because as you can see there's not a ton of space in this little this little box here but pretty much the servo will just sit here the motor will sit here let's see if I can line all this up right I'll probably have the battery just sitting upright. Actually, I'll probably put a receiver here because that's a lot of space. And I'll put the battery over here. Or maybe I'll put it just behind the... No. I don't know how I'm going to fit all of this at the moment. Oh, that fits nicely. And just put the receiver on top. I could do that. And then this is going to go on top of all of it. There are a lot of cables and whatnot, but hopefully I'll be able to get it to all fit in and look nice. But so far, this is what I have designed so far. Um, I'll have to make a motor mount um, assembly, uh, some way to attach the servo, and um, like a battery latch, still not sure what I'm going to do with that, and then this is all going to sit on top, so I'll have to figure that out as well, along with I need to buy a micro spectrum receiver to fit into here, the smaller the better, obviously. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on, I will be right back. Alright, and there we go, I now have the chassis screwed on, and it works pretty well. Um, so hopefully I can throw this stuff in eventually. Right now I gotta design up how I wanna set all this in. Um, Cause as you see here, I have more space from the axle to the right side where the motor's gonna go than from the axle to the left side cause the motor doesn't fit very well. Um, I mean, I could expand the uh, chassis, but then I don't think the body itself um, would actually fit. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see, if I expanded the chassis at all, um, it would stick outside of the body. But I am excited to see how this works out. Um, hopefully I can get some upgraded front shocks and rear shocks here and uh, hopefully it'll be good to go. I'm planning on getting a new body eventually, hopefully sometime this week, and 
Uh, I'll come to you guys next week with a, um, hopefully, uh, a more progressed chassis. So that's, that's the plan so far. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any upgraded micro truggies, micro rallies, micro SCTs, I think there's a micro T as well. Um, feel free to post them or actually don't post them. Send them to uh, my email at rcmoguls at gmail.com and or you can post them to my Facebook page at Torrent Productions um, on Facebook. So find me on Facebook and feel free to um, upload whatever pictures you have onto there and I will post my favorite picture at the end of the week. Um, along with that you can also post your pictures on Instagram and tag me in those and I will be more than happy to go and look at them. So yeah, that's the plan so far. Uh, keep posted for more.